Hello. Are you interested in AI art? Do you want to be able to make images like this, or this, or even this, on your local machine? Well, I made all these using Forge UI on my local machine with only 8 gigabytes of VRAM. I'm going to give a quick rundown on how to get Forge UI up and running on your system. I'm going to go to this website. I'll leave the link in the description. All right, so we're going to go to this page here. We're going to scroll down. We're going to find uh, the installing Forge section. We're going to click on this one right here. All right, so once it is in, uh, once it's downloaded, we're going to drag it into a uh, folder on our um, hard drive. Uh, in this case, I'm using an extra SSD. I'm just gonna name that file Forge and then drag it in here. I'm gonna right click on this and extract here. And then once you've extracted it, you'll have these options here. So I'm gonna delete this. So you can, you'll have these options right here once you've extracted it. First thing you need to do is update. Once you've updated, uh, make sure you have a browser open. Uh, and then hit run. Now, once you hit run, you'll see something like this in your web browser. Now, you've installed everything technically, um, but you won't have any checkpoints or vase because you haven't downloaded them yet. So I'll leave some links in the description for where to download some checkpoints and some vase. Once you have the uh, once you have the checkpoints and the vase downloaded, you'll go into Web UI, Models, and then there's a bunch of different options here. You're going to go and find Stable Diffusion, and this is where you put your checkpoints. So you can see it's put Stable Diffusion checkpoints here. Then we're going to go back out to Models, and we're going to Vay, and it says put Vay here. And these are the places you're going to put those two options. Once you've put the stable diffusion checkpoint and they that you have downloaded into those spots, you're going to want to close your command uh, window as well as uh, the browser window and then relaunch by going back to this area here and hitting run again. Generally speaking, it's a pretty good idea to hit update the first time you, you bring your system online for when you're about to go work on stuff so you always are up to date with all the stuff that you have and then run okay hope that helps and uh, thanks for watching i'm going to be making more stable diffusion and ai videos uh, including uh, a pretty good tutorial for how to use forge ui to generate images and just a kind of overview of the ui uh, it'd be cool if you checked it out thanks